What's up guys, yo, Biddy41 here, here's episode 4 of Donkey Kong Country Returns. In this part, we're gonna start off by doing 1-K, Platform Panic. Um, unlocking the 1-K uh, one, the, uh, one or 2-K, basically, stages, you have to get all the Kong letters in every required, well, not every re required, every stage in the, uh, in the world to unlock it. And, uh, in these stages, you, um, you'll get something, which I'll show you at the end. But there are no Kong letters in this, there are only um, puzzle pieces you can get. So it's not really that much to uh, search for. So it's pretty cool. Alright, so let's see if I can actually do this with uh, without dying once. Because I'm not the best at platforming. Let's bounce up here, and we get a free puzzle piece. Sweet. Alright. And, and right now I don't have Diddy Kong, which sucks, but... Uh, he, he could be helpful here, but let's just see what happens. Um, what I just felt like bringing up is the fact that, uh, well, I guess they've done this in all the Donkey Kong games that, uh, every stage, well, okay, thank god, every, uh, stage is either, like, the name is either an alliteration or, like, rhymes, like, Platform Panic, like, if you look at all the stages, they're either, like, they either rhyme or are alliteration, if you don't know what alliteration is, it's, well, like, the first letter of more than one word is, like, repeated one after another. Like this one, Platform Panic PP. That's an alliteration. Boing, 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 balloon. So if you bounce on eight enemies in a row, you get a one up, and then each one after which you'll keep getting one ups, which can be pretty cool. But I don't think there's that many like opportunities in the game. But whatever, let's just keep going. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this good so far. <laughs> Alright. Climb up, you lip, 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 lip. Alright. So what's up with you guys? I know this episode's probably gonna be short because I'm just gonna do this, then the world boss, and then I'm um, just gonna end it there because I'm, I really don't have that much time because I'm about to go out and do some more shopping on Black Friday. Boing! All right, and yes, I actually did it, and we get this orb thing, which I really should not know what it does right now, but I guess just maybe for completionists, or maybe we get something when we do all eight. But nonetheless, we completed the stage, which is awesome. Alright, so, um, you know what that means. Now that we're done here, we're almost done with World 1. I'm just gonna go to uh, this shop and get more 1-ups, because that's, like, the only thing we can use our banana coins for. You just gotta make sure you have 20 to get a map key. Other, other than that, you can just get hearts, not hearts, balloons, which I'm just gonna use right now. And there we go. And someone just sent me a picture message, but I'm not gonna even look at it. So let's just get out of there. And head over here. And one dash B, which is the boss, Mugly's Mound. So yes, this is the uh, boss stage in the uh, World One. Probably gonna be easy. Well, it, it is easy in my opinion. It was hard for me at first because I didn't know what to do, but now that I know, it's gonna be easy as hell. And you just grab Diddy Kong, and it brings you to this cutscene. And man, that thing is Mugly, mad ugly. <laughs> This fucker. I hope he's going to hypnotize this rhino reptile shit. I don't even know what to call it. Alright, so that is going to start it off. So we have a uh, boss battle gets Mugly. What you have to do is jump on his back where it looks like he has a target on it and just do that a few times. Not that hard of a boss fight right now. You just gotta make sure you land on top of him. And you don't do that to try to like rush and get over him. But uh, don't worry, once you do this a few that a few times you'll get hot just like that. Oh now he's mad. Now he's orange for rage. Alright. Boom, let's do it again. See so, yeah, like I said, not that hard, but the other bosses, trust me, it's gonna get a lot harder in this game. Damn it. Oh uh, see that's why it's like alright so I get hurt because most of the time you'll get a hard pop out. Hell and this is final form, his ultra rage mode. Right. I guess you could call it ultra rage. Alright, we just gotta hit him two more times and he should be good. I don't care that I get hit. One. Alright, should we end it? Let's end it off right here. Come on. Boom! And then BAM! He's defeated. <laughs> he, he looks like he's like good at acting. He's like, Egh. 
bleh, I freeze frame down like certain poses. And there's the uh, voodoo bitch. <laughs> He's so dizzy and fucking retarded. All right, so let's go over to him and bam! He is dead. Team Rocket Blast off again! Okay, nah. But yes, like it says right there, world clear. And uh, some of the bosses, after you do it, you get to actually hit them a few times. I don't know what triggers it, like what makes you able to hit them multiple times, or it just hits them once. Like, it didn't give me the option, but uh, I don't care less. We still beat him. This thing crumbles. And we defeated World 1. So next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Returns, we're going to start off World 2, The Beach, doing 2-1, popping planks. See you guys then. Peace out.